Namaste. Gems from Savitri. Very often people ask, why is God not doing something? Even they declare, have mercy, have mercy. As if he was ever void of mercy. The source of mercy and people are saying, they are praying to God, have mercy on us. As if we have to tell God to have mercy. Problem is, he is always having mercy. But while we are saying God have mercy, we are painting him in the image of death. He has come. So many times he has come, given us permanent solutions to escape out of the law of ignorance and death. Do we listen? If you just take the avatars, Rama, Shri Krishna, Buddha, Christ, now Sri Aurobindo, and the countless mystics, what have they taught us in a land like India? Countless! Did we listen to them? We just turned them into either nice bhajans. Whose bhajan is it? Narsi Mehta's bhajan. You know? Guru Nanak Ji ka Shabad. Then you say, I want a Khalistan. This is what, this is the problem. Vaishnava cult. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. But which Krishna? We have forgotten the Krishna who is the Chakradhari. The Gita's Krishna we have forgotten. Buddha. Buddha is great. And you'll see, go to Buddhist stupas, you'll see all those things going on. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But what is Buddha? Mighty. Trampling over desires. He walks. Buddha is not found in crowds, you know. That is, we have forgotten all that. Now again, Shurabindu comes. Again. So we end up turning everything into a religion. Because religion is very convenient. It's a belief system. So people even sometimes talk of all these things as a belief system. No. Yoga is to arrive at what has been taught. But man cannot does not. There is something in him that resists. He finds it convenient, as Shubhindu puts it, to crucify Christ and then build a religion on his grave. He finds it very convenient to use power, divine power, to establish a seat of political power. This is man. So here is a little marmic lines, heart-touching line. Divine beings come on earth, and they go away. What man does with it? We must know that we have a responsibility. It's not like God will come and he'll do everything magically, have mercy. He has mercy. Are we listening to him? He says, be free of fear. Are we ready to listen? He says, get out of these ideas. Learn, trust in me. What did Sri Krishna say? Sarva dharman paritya mamekam sharnam raja. Do we listen to him? What did Buddha say? Buddham sharnam gachami, dhammam sharnam gachami, sangham sharnam gachami. Do we listen to him? Shurabindo, what did he say? He made it very simple. Live always as if you are in the, the very eyes of the Divine Mother. Do we listen to him? So this description, Savitri, hard is it to persuade earth's nature's change. What is the problem? Is it a delay from his side? No, he is over eager. Where is the delay? Our sight. Mortality bears ill the eternal's touch. Why? Because there are some conditions for change. They are not conditions for the change. It's like bridge has been built. We have to walk. So this is just to receive the grace. Now we want magically everything to change. So, it fears the pure divine intolerance of that assault of ether and of fire. Somebody asked the mother, that mother, there will be no digestive tract in the new creation. No, we won't need food. Oh, then what will be the use of it? There will be no joy. Imagine, yes, there in a conversation. People felt, and she says, just imagine that if there is no taste, life is not worth living. That's how humanity is. It, it murmurs at its sorrowless happiness. It's possible to live life beautifully. What did mother say? She would say, my child never think that the divine wants to contradict you. He doesn't want, he doesn't enjoy doing it. Your wishes, he doesn't want to contradict. He wants that you come with your wishes. Often people ask, 
if I do this, what will happen? This will lead to pain. Pain doesn't come because of this or that circumstances or this or that choices. It comes because of the attitude we have towards things. Have an attitude of ignorance. Even a divine place will give you pain. Have an attitude of the right attitude. That it all belongs to the divine. That kind of detachment and go through life. True love. True beauty. Even in Narak you will find the divine presence and joy. So it is not people or circumstances but our attitude toward them. That's what Mother says. That some people feel that oh divine wants to make us suffer. So we have made a wrong choice. Now he will make sure. Mother says my child divine is not interested in contradicting you. We think it's a very big deal. It's not a big deal. He will say okay come through this. But the attitude is important. Almost with hate repels the light it brings because we don't believe there can be sorrowless happiness. And the might and sweetness of its absolute voice. How can he be authority? Shurabindu says, but our scientists are saying something else. Might and sweetness of his absolute voice. It requires that tremendous faith and complete surrender. That is missing in us. Inflicting on the heights the abysm's law, it sullies with its mire heaven's messengers. Its thorns of fallen nature are the defense. It turns against the savior hands of grace. Shubindu came, he also left his body, we also leave our body, there is no difference. Thorns of fallen nature. This is our folly. So, and what do we do? It it meets the sons of God with death and pain. A glory of lightnings traversing the earth scene. Their sun thoughts fading, darkened by ignorant minds. They work betrayed. Their good to evil turned. The cross, their payment for the crown they gave. Only they leave behind a splendid name. And that name we use and misuse for Things which are completely opposite. Shubhinda has warned it that what happens when a new light comes, man turns it into a religion. And then what happens in a religion? He only pays a lip service and uses it as an excuse to do everything which is just the opposite of what that light commands from us or demands from us. What does the light demand from us? That also Shubhinda says. Just a point of support. Even a little faith is enough. Swalpamasya dharmasya trayate bhayato mahat. Namaste.